Judy Shea's been through hammer toe surgery twice. The first time was memorable. I had pins sticking out from the second toe and from the side of the big toe. This type of external wire is typical for hammer toe surgery, though it leaves the foot open to complications. A source of potential for infection, a source for uh, potential the patient bending or bumping or damaging this, this pin that exits the foot. Another drawback, once the temporary wires are removed, the hammer toe can return. That's what happened to Judy. But her recent surgery featured a new quarter-sized implant called Smart Toe. This is really the first implant that has successfully combined all the aspects of a good corrective procedure with sound uh, metallurgic type product that doesn't fail in the long run. The implant is made from nitinol, a heat activated metal shown here in a large scale model. When it's frozen, it's compressed. And that allows the ease of insertion into the patient's uh, bones in the toe. As it warms in the body, the implant expands and holds the joint straight. Once it's inside the bone for about a minute or so, the patient's body temperature will cause this area to expand, locking it into the toe. The permanently implanted device offers benefits traditional surgery doesn't. The fact of not having to have a pin exiting the toe, getting back to mobility quicker. Advantages Judy's enjoying every step of the way. This is Venturi reporting.